Lifeguard workers, EMTs, and firefighters can all currently get the vaccine here in San Diego County, but law enforcement officers still have to wait. Well, now one local supervisor is trying to change that, and our Jeff McAdam joins us live to tell us how it went. Jeff. Hey, Andrew, that's right. Well, the county has already said that law enforcement personnel, officers, deputies, they'll be in the next group, the very next group, along with teachers, daycare workers, people that work in the food industry. But Supervisor Joel Anderson from the East County says that's not soon enough. We need to do it like today. 27 counties in California have given the green light to vaccinate law enforcement officers. San Diego County isn't one of them. Supervisor Joel Anderson aimed to change that Tuesday. And so that's what I'm asking the board to do is say, how is it that firefighters and lifeguards, while they're critically important, how can we possibly exclude our law enforcement uh, when they are critical to many parts of the county? Representing the East County, Supervisor Anderson says he understands why firefighters are on the list. They're critical, rushing in and out of homes, and as a result, bringing who knows what back to the station. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher jumping in. They weren't vaccinated because they are firefighters. They were vaccinated so that we could increase the health care workforce of people who can give the shots. Because we increased the health care workforce of people who can give the shots, we've stood up more sites than anyone else in the state of California. And we've administered more vaccines than anyone else in the state of California. Dr. Wilma Wooten with the County Health Department pointing out why the county made the call to wait on law enforcement with people 65 and up first on the list. People 65 and up making up 48% of the hospitalizations from COVID. Officers just 0.2. People 65 and up making up 79% of the deaths. Officers just 0.1%. Supervisor Desmond from the North County countering. We just found out the number one killer of law enforcement in the line of duty right now is COVID-19. You know, when they get a call, they got to go into somebody's house. They, you know, they give CPR. I get that seniors are more likely to die than law enforcement. But when I'm in trouble, when the senior's in trouble, that's frequently law enforcement's the first to get there and, and give them CPR and help them. And I think that if law enforcement shows up and gives them COVID, I think that's a bad thing. Yeah, and ultimately the move was voted down today, three to two by the supervisors. And it really didn't matter uh, necessarily what their decision was because ultimately it is Dr. Wilma Wooten from the County Health Department that gets to make the decision. The, the Board of Supervisors just thought maybe if we were all here in agreement, she might hear us and say, okay, I'll reconsider. That clearly didn't happen today. From SDPD, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, Jeff, thank you.